the recent and still ongoing petition drive to get signatures to push back against the Board of Trustees to present them with thousands, I guess 30,000 was the minimum required. Do you have any update on that? I don't. There was a question about the petition, petition drive that's uh, ongoing. I don't have any updates, frankly. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. That's not what we voted yesterday. Uh, the, qu question. the question was, uh, why did the, the board vote to begin paying uh, victims? Uh, I'm, this is a very sensitive subject. You know, any of you who know me know that I've, I've not minced words in the past. This is a very, very sensitive subject. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to tiptoe carefully and try to answer your question. I had reservations before the board meeting started but those reservations were dispelled by the discussion we had in executive session before that vote yesterday. And essentially that discussion was that there would be information shared with the board on a regular basis. But in effect, there are not gonna be any decisions made per se without uh, there being knowledge on the part of, of the board. I, from a business standpoint, it makes all the sense in the world to at least begin to analyze. And I think more than anything else, that's what we're saying here. All right? What's the committee you mentioned? Uh, the out, out, what'd you call it? Um, an outreach committee. There's a committee a on the Board of Trustees chaired by Mark Dambly. I'm a member of that. How many people on it? Uh, there are five members. And what does it mean, outreach? Oh, well, we're supposed to be out in the community talking to folks, having meetings, getting your input. How we doing? Good. At this reading. No, not me today. I mean, generally. Yeah, that happened to me yesterday, too. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. When Joe passed away, um, I don't know how many days it was, uh, if it was a week, there was a service for him in Harrisburg. I don't remember the name of the Catholic Church. All of us. Yeah. We, My husband and I watched it. And our good old governor sat there and kept looking at his watch. Right. I'm appalled by that. Well, you'll get your chance to share your views on the governor in two years when he runs again. Yeah. <laughs> Next well, question. Right. I right. voted for Ron Arado anyways. <laughs> hey, what are you? Go ahead. Yeah. Has there been any letters from the board at all to the NCAA complaining about unjustified sanctions hmm. to the best of my knowledge no well, I think that the trustees are open to improve governance. Isn't that what you've been hearing? But, you know, I, I can say this, though, and I've used this phrase often. Your priorities are what you do, not what you say. Right? So we'll see. Get ready. My thoughts are that if Curly and Schultz are found innocent, then everything that you're planning to do is proper, that we should go forward with everything. But what happens if they're found guilty? Are we going to just say, the heck with it, we ought to move forward then? Well, I guess we'll have to see what happens. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a facts and circumstances kind of person, and uh, cross those that bridge when I come to it. I, I don't know the answer to the question. I, I have to understand, you know, between now and then a lot will happen. Not may, it will. What? What's... Wait, wait. Uh, last evening before the board meeting, it, I went to the board meeting last evening, uh, Meredith's uh, board member, L. Lloyd Huck, told Mitz, uh, board member Junker that what we're doing here by trying to replace the board and by looking at the charter, looking at the standing orders, was anarchy which means we're all anarchists. Why would he say that? 
You should ask him. Right. I don't know the answer to that question. I don't have a cordial relationship with that former trustee. <laughs> Anthony, if I may. Wait, I got one more. All right, here. good. Oh, you're being heard. You're being heard. I know you may not think it. All I can say is just be patient. You are being heard. You are absolutely being heard. And you, you... What was the question? What was the question? There, there, there's a sense that among some that you're not being heard on the board. People just don't notice you, aren't noticing you or, or other like-minded alumni who I think are in the majority. And uh, my answer was, you are absolutely being heard. Uh, make no bones about it, because I hear about it all the time. <laughs> Anthony, if I may, can you bring us up to date on any of the suits, the paternal family suit against the NCAA? I, I, I Wait, can't. let me finish. They're, How they're, about they're best of my knowledge, there is no litigation anywhere, and I can't comment. Okay, they filed an appeal. You know anything what happened to that? I, again, I, I can't okay. comment. Okay, how about Ryan McCumbie? Didn't he talk about a suit? What's I, the story? I, I don't know. You, I, you'll have to speak with them. I have no information that I can share with you. Okay. Does that mean there is information, but you can't share it? <laughs> Spoken like a true lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> what about the lawsuit by the football players? Won't you take a minute to speak to the actions against the NCAA players for the very contract law violations that you've been against us? You're going to give us any due process of law. We can sue them for many courts. We can get federal courts to get rid of sanctions because they make no sense to punish innocent people for you know, doing wrong things. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like well, this is America. This is Penn State. Yeah. So. I think all of you by now know my feelings about Mark Emmert. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Can we fire him? Get a Christmas How do we get rid of him? Year, but <laughs> the, the term sanctimonious hypocrite comes right. to mind. I'll right. leave it at that. Yep. Yep. I'm patient. All I can, you know, I, I know this is hard for you to understand, not understand, but to accept because you, all of you want to do something. You want to do it now. No one wants to do something more than me just have to be patient. There are so many people around this country like yourselves who are working very hard, who love this school, who want nothing more than due process, want nothing more than truth to be, to be known. So hang in there, be patient, and we, we look for your help. Be there to help us. Thank you very much, guys. Good job, man. Two, two little things. First of all, uh, somebody might have gone to, um, to the Facebook page and uh, there was an Ohio State guy who did some nasty stuff to the Rally for Resignation page. If you go to Penn State Rally for Resignations 2.0, you will find our Facebook page, okay, number one. Number two, all I'll say to you before we go off and, and try to cheer these guys on, stay angry. Yeah. Please, stay angry. Yeah.